Hello students, welcome to Home Economics class. My name is Susan Jumbo. Today we'll be looking at the theme Family Living and Resource Management and our topic is Family Needs, Goals and Standards. Every family needs certain things in order to live and survive and those things are food, they need clothes, they need shelter, they need medical care and other things. In order to satisfy these needs that we've listed above, the family will need resources. Resources like money, time, energy and different types of tools that are required. Now what are family needs? We've been talking about the family, they need this and they need that. What are these family needs? Family needs can be defined as those things that are essential to the family. Those things that the family would need in order to survive. And they include food, clothing, shelter, medical care, education, comfort, etc. Now there are different types of family needs. We have the primary or basic family needs and we have the secondary needs. Primary needs. Primary needs are those things that the family cannot do without. Can you list some things that you cannot do without? They are food, shelter, clothing, medical care, education. You need food to survive. You need shelter over your head, a place to sleep. You need good clothing to avoid harsh weather conditions and to cover your nakedness. You need good medical care when you fall ill. And then you need good education, etc. Now, secondary needs. Secondary needs are those things that the family can actually do without. Though they are important, but the family can actually live without them. They include vacation, recreation, extra clothing, family car, swimming pool. Vacation, if you don't go on a vacation, you can actually leave. If you, you're not doing any recreation, you can actually leave. Extra clothing, if you just be content with the clothes that you have for now, you can actually leave. A family car, you can walk to school or you take a public transport to school. And a swimming pool, you can actually do without a swimming pool. Now there are certain goals the, fam the family should set in order to meet these needs that we've talked about. So we'll be looking at family goals. What are family goals? Family goals focuses on achieving those needs that we've listed that have been agreed upon by the family. Now there are different types of goals that the family should set and we'll be looking at them one after the other. Number one goal is to provide the right type of food. That's a balanced diet for the family. The family should set the goal of providing a balanced meal for every member of the family. The second goal is to provide a comfortable home to live in. Every family should provide a comfortable home for their family members to live in. And the third goal a family should set is good clothing for all their family members. Another important goal a family should set is to maintain good health for all family members. The family should provide good health services for all family members. Another goal the family should set is to enjoy leisure time, to provide a time to stay together, to bond together as a family. They should set goals for family picnic, maybe on Saturdays or a day that the children are not going to school. They can have family holidays, maybe summer holiday, Christmas holiday, and they can also have a family Thanksgiving. These are goals the family should set. And another goal is to encourage the highest level of education desirable for each family member. Another goal is to provide adequate finances. How do we get these finances? If we will get extra jobs or we get a better job to have more money to meet those needs that we've talked about. Another goal a family will set is to be committed to the in their religious lives as family members, to maintain an open communication 
amongst family members that something if the family will want to do maybe some family members are not getting along with each other the family can sit to decide that going forward they would maintain an open communication for each family member now to get all these goals we need to set certain family goals and these goals include having a vision of what the family should look like I should have a vision of what my family should look like. My vision might be to get every member of my family attain the highest level of education. And how do I go about it? I'll take steady steps to achieve it. The first step I'll take is to get the needed information. I'll get the needed information about the school, no good schools, and of course have know how much they, they would cost. Another step I'm going to take is to set available resources to have the money to set out time to go check the school and another step i'm going to take is to arrange the family goal by importance i'll know which is important which will come first and now to achieve these goals we can't just do it like that to achieve these goals and to meet those needs we would need resources now what are these resources? What are family resources? Family resources are used to meet the needs. The needs, the primary, the secondary needs we talked about earlier. And to achieve the goals we just mentioned that we've set as a family. And there are two types. They can be grouped into two. The human resources. The human resources exist within us as human, human beings. And, they, and we have the material resources. For the human resources, we have abilities and skills. For example, a fisherman, he is good at fishing. He knows when the, tide, when the right tide is for him to go fishing. He has the knowledge about fishing. And then he has the energy. When he casts his net, he has the energy to pull out the fish. And also, material resources. Material resources, we can link our example of the fisherman to the material resources he spends the money and he uses the money to meet certain needs in the family need to provide food that is important or to get shelter or also to provide education we also listed education as part of the basic needs that we need also time he spends time to go about his fishing and properties those these um, abilities skills and the energy he has used for the fishing that gives ends him the money he has he can buy things with it he can use the, mo the money to buy necessary fishing tools that he needs to enhance his fishing now we've come to the end of today's class i hope we followed properly but before we go let's take Let's go through everything we've learned from family needs. Family needs can be defined as those things that are essential to the family. Can you list those things that are essential? We talked about food, talked about shelter, talked about clothing, education, those things that are important to the family. And we also talked about setting goals. We talked about family goals. The goals a family should set in order to meet the needs. And then lastly, we talked about family resources. Family resources are used to meet those needs and then achieve the goals we've set aside. I hope we've understood. If we have, then let's take these few questions. Number one question. Food is a dash need. A. Tertiary. B. Primary. C. Secondary. If you said food is a primary need, you are correct. Food is essential. We cannot do without it. Question 2. Dash are used for meeting family needs. A. Standards. B. Resources. C. Goals. If you said B, you are correct. Resources are used for meeting family needs. I hope we enjoyed today's class and we've learned something new. Thank you.